Hi, I'm Valerie Gordon from Valerie Confections here at the Alice Hall Guest Ranch and Resort. Today I'm making a black and blue bread pudding on the Big Green Egg. Baking on the Big Green Egg is one of my favorite things to do because it's so easy. And the complexity and flavor that you get when you create desserts on the Big Green Egg is completely unparalleled. So we're gonna start off today on the Mini Max. I love the Mini Max. He's so cute and truly you could like put him anywhere. So the Mini Max is something that I like to use for open flame cooking. I'm starting this recipe with a black and blue jam. This is a great jam recipe that you can use not only on this bread pudding, but also just on a scone, a piece of toast, or anything like that. So I'm putting my pot directly on the open flame. So I pour an even amount of blackberries and blueberries directly into the pot. I add in the sugar. And one of my favorite ingredients to work with, which is lemon zest. And then I'm just gonna stand here over the Minimax, and again, I've got an open flame here, and that's what makes the jam really start to cook. And this will just take a few minutes. So the jam has been cooking for about 10 minutes now, and it looks absolutely glorious. So I'm gonna take this off, the open flame, and just pour it directly into a bowl so it cools a little bit. All right, we'll just let the jam cool a little bit, and now it's time to make the custard. So I've got heavy cream and whole milk. And these two things I'm gonna keep in my cast iron pot over the open flame of the Minimax. So we just want this cream mixture to come to a simmer and then I'll pour it over the eggs. And that's all you do to make custard. It's not that complicated at all. So I've got eggs here and I'm whisking in sugar, vanilla, and salt. So this is combined. So the cream is simmered and it's time to finish the custard. And I'm gonna show you some easy tricks to do. So we're just gonna take the spatula out. Carefully take the pot off. Now when you're making the custard, make sure that you put your receiving bowl on a towel. And what that will do is that'll stop it from moving around and make the integration much easier. Okay, so you don't wanna to go too fast on this because if you go too fast, it'll turn into scrambled eggs. So I'm just slowly drizzling this hot cream into the sweetened egg mix. And what I'm doing is tempering the egg. That's the technical term here. And that's what makes custard. Okay, so all of the cream has been integrated into the egg and you see it's this lovely sort of vanilla, light yellow textured cream that I have here. And this is custard. So this will go into some prepared brioche and that's what makes our bread pudding. So I'll just set that aside. So I've got my prepared brioche here and that's what I'm using to make the bread pudding. So this is a really fun task to do with kids because it's very hands-on. So I'm pouring the custard over the bread and then you do wanna make sure that you fully integrate the bread and the custard. So I'm getting my hands in here. Don't worry, they're clean and I'm just mashing up the bread into the custard. And once this is all together, I just set it aside until I'm ready to go. All right, so now that we have our brioche soaking with the custard, we need to prepare our skillet. And the most important thing that you need to do in order to properly grill your desserts on the Big Green Egg is properly butter your skillet. What I always say to use is about two ounces. That is four tablespoons of butter, and I swear you need it because this is what allows for easy extraction of your dessert. And it really creates this incredible crust around the dessert and it makes it rich and luscious and delicious. So go for it. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is fill the skillet halfway with the custard soaked brioche and then we're layering that with fresh berries. So you'll notice as I fill the skillet, I'm really making sure that there's no holes in the bread coverage because this is what will provide a full, dense, beautiful bread pudding. And then I'm pouring my berries on. I like a lot of berries. You can use a little bit less, but I love to taste that fresh fruit in the bread pudding. So I'm just covering that layer and pressing it in a little bit to the soaked brioche. And then we top that with some more of this beautiful soaked brioche. And I'm just pressing this in. All right, so this looks great. 
Now what we're gonna do is bake this inside of the extra large big green egg. So all we do now is we lift this up and you wanna go in the center of the grate. I've got my big green egg set at 350 degrees. This will take about 30 to 35 minutes and that's it. So once the bread pudding starts to puff up a little bit, you just coat it with this gorgeous black and berry jam that you made. And once you've got a nice generous coating, you're done. This dessert is so easy. I love baking things in the big green egg. It's such an efficient way to make dessert. And after making dinner on the big green egg, look how quick it was to put together this black and blue bread pudding and now we've got a full meal. And we're going to serve this with some little edible flower arrangement on the plate and it'll be so elegant and gorgeous.